Welcome back. This is Part-Time Guardian. And one of the really great things I like about this season is there's a lot of great additional mods that have been added. And in this video, we will talk about one particular build. I'll have some other videos coming out in the future, but this particular build is a monster PVE DPS ad clearing machine. And again, it's going to be something that I want to share with you and give you the details on how to build. Again, I really appreciate all the support of the channel. We've been growing by leaps and bounds, well over 200 subscribers now, which again, may be small for some uh, content creators, but it's something that I've been working hard at and I really appreciate all the support. Once we get over 250, I'm actually gonna be giving away something pretty cool. So again, if you have friends who would like a channel like this, feel free to suggest and feel free if you're listening to this for the first time, you've never subscribed, to subscribe to the channel. Again, only if you feel that it's something that provides value, but it really helps me out. I really, really, really appreciate it. So let's talk about some of the build things that you can do within Season of Arrivals. So for this build, it's again oriented around void damage and some of the mods and some, some of the mods within Season of Arrivals, but also some weapons. Now, depending on what weapons and things that you have, you can obviously modify this because you may not have all the weapons in this build. This build is based on things I like to use, but also some of the best mods within Season of the Arrivals. So first off, let's talk about some of the new and returning uh, mods that can help out with that. First off, there's Surprise Attack. Surprise Attack is a mod that allows you, when you get Charge of Light and you have a sidearm, if you either switch quickly to a sidearm or if you reload your sidearm, you basically get a five stack of bullets that allow you to do an incredible amount more damage. And then the bullets over time diminish but you can actually stack these depending on how you do it. You can actually stack it up to 20 bullets. But again, it can do incredible amounts of damage per bullet. Then to add to that, I'm gonna use Swift Charge. Now you don't have to use this. Anything that allows you to get Charge of Light would be useful. But in this case, this is for rapid kills with sidearms, SMGs, and auto rifles, grant you charges of light. And I'll explain uh, later how that kind of synergizes together. And then we have some returning mods. Those are Oppressive Darkness, which again is a void a grenade attack in this case that allows you to weaken enemies which will allow you to do additional damage the other thing is overload grenades which will allow disruption against enemies and especially good against overload but the good thing is the disruption not only weakens the enemies further like what we're talking about with oppressive darkness but in addition it will prevent them from doing as much damage to you which allows you to stay in the fight further basically let's talk about how all these mods kind of come together if you get kills with your sidearm, you're gonna charge up, so you do rapid kills, you're gonna charge up and get charges of light. But as you're playing, instead of having to swap teams between weapons, if you're playing with a sidearm and you get like a lot of trash ad clears for a period of time, your weapon is gonna automatically reload because you're gonna run out of ammo for your sidearm. When you do that, it's gonna give you these superpower bullets. And obviously, if you want to, you can add additional SMGs and autos to the build to do, you know, basically to get that same effect. But in my case, I'm going to use the rest of my build to do damage around grenade launchers. So in my case, I'm going to use Anarchy and Mountaintop and then Grenade Ammo Reserves. So again, I get extra ammo reserves from both of those. Again, I know Anarchy and Mountaintop may not be things you have, so you can obviously use different weapons with this. If you're not aware, Mountaintop is a great grenade launcher that shoots basically in a straight line. So if you can aim at an enemy, you can take it out and it does a lot of damage. It's different than other grenade launchers like this breach grenade launchers where they kind of bounce. This goes in a straight line. This weapon is available through a crucible quest that can be a little bit of a grind to get, but it's absolutely worth it. And it's something that if you do want to get it, you're going to want to get it this season uh, because some of those things are going to be sunset of certain activities. So if you want to take advantage of this, take advantage of it now. Anarchy does damage over time and builds a field of arc energy between the grenades you place on the ground. You get this from Scourge of the Past. Now, what's great about this is, again, it does damage over time, and it does, does a considerable amount of damage. So that is something that can work really effectively. So to add to this, I use a Night Stalker build. And again, I'm not going to talk about that in detail. It's basically a build where I can stay invisible pretty much the entire um, match that I'm in, whether it's PvE or PvP. Which again, if I'm trying to maximize damage and trying to stay alive in PvE, that can be really helpful. So I'll link out to that video here if you'd like to learn more about that. To, again, to talk about how you become someone who can stay invisible an entire fight if possible. So again, as you're staying invisible, 
again, constantly because you have that other build going. At the beginning of a boss fight or in some area where you need to clear a lot of adds, you can drop your void grenade and your anarchy on the boss at the same time, again, or the other adds. Those both will do damage over time. They'll also weaken and disrupt the enemy in question. So that's going to help. Then as you're clearing adds around that boss or around other adds, you can use the effect that we're talking about with the sidearm to get some additional DPS bullets. Finally, you can use the supercharged bullets to do additional damage to the boss and then finish it off with mountaintop. And then you can rinse and repeat. Do some additional grenades because you'll probably have your grenade back by then. Do additional anarchy kill some more ads. So you can see this is, and then go invisible again, right? And as you go invisible with the other build that I'm talking about, you also build up your grenade and other abilities. So again, that's really the core of the build. It's it's a constant killing machine. I think it's gonna become very useful in end game content. I've used it again on some of the contact events. I've used it in the Prophecy Dungeon, and it's come very useful. So again, that's the build. That's the video too. I really hope you guys appreciate it and got value out of it. If you did, feel free to subscribe to the channel, like the video, get into the comments. Let's talk about what variants of the build that you want to put in place. I'm gonna, I plan on using this build uh, in some upcoming raids and things like that. Might post some videos on that. Really appreciate all the support. Really glad that I'm here and that I can deliver content to you guys. It's a value. And again, I'll see you guardians in the tower.